We have an X61 sporting a 2 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, and a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Let's see that spinning rust go. In the middle, we have a X60 motherboard in a X61. It has a 1.66 Core Duo processor, not 64-bit, keep in mind, and it is equipped with a 60 gigabyte SSD and a LibreBoot. On the far right, we have a X220 with a swap motherboard having a i7 inside and RaidRar custom BIOS with a 16 gigabyte PCIe-M SSD. So let's begin the race. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Shit. Okay, there. As we can see, already the LibreBoot BIOS is taking the lead. Oh wow, it's already at it's already at Debian. The other two Debian computers are slow to the match, with RaidRare's custom BIOS being the slowest. Oh, there! Oh, it's already a login. This one just finished the grub menu, and this one's just starting up. As you can see, though, the IPS display does look slightly nicer than these TN panels. Anyways, it looks like we're up on the middle one. The um, oh wow, and we're up on the X220 as well. And it's finally the 250 gigabyte. Hard drive coming in last with the X61 without the X60 motherboard. So, Libra Boot. It saves time, man. And I, I like Debian 9. So as you can tell, the uh, Weeper Boot, like, um, well, the Weeper Boot X60 actually boots the fastest. You know, gotta boot fast, right? Oh man, I'm I'm stealing that bit. But it's actually not too difficult to install Weeper Boot on an X60. It's just a software flash. I noticed uh, I had some weird. Uh, it, it didn't work on Deviant Stretch for some reason, so I actually used Triswell to uh, put the put Libreboot software on there. But after Libreboot's on there, you can just, just put in a um, live, I, I guess not a live CD, but uh, just plug in a USB stick and install Debian on top of that. And I um, well, there's one problem with this is I haven't actually bought the Wi-Fi card and the original Intel Wi-Fi card in here does not work with it and I've gone around and I've tried various different other Wi-Fi cards that I could find at my house but they're like none of them work so I think you need like Anthros or something so I mean it was only like five dollars on eBay if I used one so I bought one and I'll probably put some um, probably put that in here and yeah so another thing is like the x60 motherboard literally just swaps right in without doing anything extra I heard uh, if you have one of the models with the fingerprint uh, thing it's on the wrong side on the X61 versus X60. But, and if you're swapping them out, you need to, um, you need to use the X61 heatsink because it's actually bigger. I mean, you don't need to, but it, like, it's like better coin. And, you know, it's cool to have a cool CPU, man. It's totes, right? Okay, never mind. Um... But yeah, so they actually did kind of start up in a relatively similar time frame. But um, I'm actually quite impressed with Libreboot so far. Um, for the, you guys that don't know, um, Libreboot is a open, well, it's a completely uh, free 
as in freedom, not open source, but free as in freedom, BIOS. So it, it only works on a certain system. Like uh, there's a lot of uh, ThinkPad models that are supported. I don't think there's any that are like any, not Core 2 Duos or Core 2 Quads. There's, um, you can also get, uh, get it on a, a few desktop uh, boards. One of those was kind of interesting because it had a uh, LGA775 socket on it. So I could actually, you could put in a um, Q6600 uh, or something and found a way to overclock that. And that might actually not be a bad system. Um, or maybe just buy one of the Xeon 771 socket chips and put that one in there. Get like 3 gigahertz CPU, quad core, cool man. But yeah, another thing is, um, it's kind of how Weeper Boot works and BIOSes in general work. Uh, but the video, um, it's kind of hard for the video card, it's kind of hard to do video card support when you don't have any access to, well, I don't know if it's exactly because they don't have access to the code. There's a lot of this stuff is like uh, binary blobs. So you can, Core Boot has binary blobs. So if you want to have some software that's similar and don't really care about freedom, um, you can install Core Boot. I might actually do that on my X220 because it's not supported by Weaver Boot. But then I noticed Weaver Boot doesn't support a lot of, I don't know if Core Boot's the same way, but I have to use like specific hardware for Weaver Boot. And the main reason I installed the uh, RaidWare BIOS on here is so I can put in a uh, wide area or WLAN card so, but, um, yeah, this is the X60 one I'm going to give away, the 2 gigahertz processor. Surprisingly, a Core Duo isn't actually as bad as you think. So, I mean, I guess, like, I don't, you, you can get Core 2 Duo uh, X60, so I would look for one of those motherboards if you were going to use that computer as like a daily driver. So, yeah, I guess that just sums about everything. Also, if you have an X60, why don't you have Weaver Boot? Seriously, it, it's not that hard to install, man. Easy. And then, like, Boots up instantly. So look, look, look at this, man. So so cool, man. Like, here, let me let me just shut it down. Press the button, and and look, it even has like a cool picture, and then it goes instantly into Grub. Like Grub's actually on the little flash chip in here. Isn't that cool? Like on the flash chip, like it's not even on the hard drive. It's on the flash chip, you know. Like I was thinking, I just, you can't actually run Windows on Libreboot, but I don't know why you'd want to run Windows on Libreboot. But so I guess if you're married to you, you know Bill Gates and or something, I I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean. If, Core boot, I think you can run Windows with, and it's pretty similar. But look, it's already started. Well, let's get login, and I, I do have um, the, the same setup I have on like all of these, where it's just like goes instantly into like. Oh God, I forgot to lock this down. I I, I um. I kind of just took took this apart earlier and put it back together. Also, I really need. Oh, I forgot to buy GPU thermal pads. I keep or not just thermal pads in general. Not even know if it's for GPUs, but I, I always like end up reusing the old ones and like it gets kind of sketchy. So 
only I actually burned up a laptop a while ago because I didn't have a thermal pad. I thought I could get away with the paste. But rest in peace, Sony Bio. Anyways, though, videos over. I I guess have a have a good one and yeah. Install Weber Boot. You have an X60.